Penny. You better shut the fuck up before it happens to you too, bitch. Damn. Hey. All right, so this next reaction is great. Was the day I knew suspend a uh, subpant? I forgot how to pronounce it. Um, short film, and this one's by Nick Menendez, which I believe, what it says on here, I believe it's a collaborate. And it looks very interesting for the short film, of course. I'm happy to see Nick Menendez once again, or we should say um, NM Film Productions once again. I thought it was going to be some, I don't know, but it's quite very interesting. I want to see what it's all about. And here we go in 5, 4, 3, 2. Didn't I tell you you couldn't sit here? Oh. I was just doing homework, man. Can I get beat up? What? What? Can you tell me what happened? I really don't know what happened. Um, I was doing my paper and there was a knock at the door, so I got up and let him in. I don't really know what their issue with each other was, but Chad seems like a dick. I've really never seen anything like that before. I really don't know what else to tell you. I didn't know what to do, so I just try to grab my stuff and get out of there as soon as I could. He probably did something to piss him off. It did get pretty wild and gruesome, though. That guy, Chad, he's like a huge bully. Like, he beats up on people, and uh, I guess Brett got tired of his nonsense. Oh, Brett. <sighs> he deserved it. Hey, what room is Chandler in? class like I normally do in your building and I got assaulted. I should I should have you fired because my dad's name is on the building that you're supposed to be watching. I shouldn't be here right now. <laughs> I think it would be better if I show you. Kenny. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Why did you hurt Kenny? You better shut the fuck up before it happens to you too, bitch. Damn. Hey. Damn. Don't 
just by the book's cover. <laughs> I, I think. All right, you can go. That's it? Aww. I thought it was going to be more of that, but that's, that's okay. Okay, shout to N NM Film for the production, of course. Well, also shout to Nick Men Menendez for, I guess she's doing a good job. I did not know, tell them, but um, I guess, yes, of course, it might be dealing with bullies, of course. We don't tolerate the bullies that are around here at the school or in, in college as well. Or even, you know, in the acting or martial arts or stunt, you know, stunt academy or any other, any other stuff, you know, for jobs or like that. Because we don't tolerate bullies or trolls out here, especially when it comes to social medias. That's only the problem. But for me... I do get bullied a lot sometimes because, you know, I'm just a ugly person. I'm just the ugliest person in this, in this world, and especially from when I was a kid. I always go to school every single time, and I've um, always been a lone person every single time. And, of course, a lot of people thought that I was a quiet one. I was because... um. Yes, I been bullied a lot. I don't. I didn't fight back. Like, I was the weak person around the school because um, I don't have my own responsibility to do. If I would have did that, that I would quite be was suspended or get expelled because um, I've been going through a lot. I've been going through hell ever since I started this school when I was a kid. My mom always take me to school every single time, man. And that's the only reason how. And it's just that maybe, maybe they thought, you know, they always hate on me because of my looks or the way I dress. Or maybe because, I don't know, I guess I'm fat or something. Or maybe some, you know, bullies, you know, think he's on the school and acts all tough around, you know, a lot of students. Because even though if you're not being friends with him or you see a lot of group that's being a bully in somebody, then that's the only thing you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And... That's how I really feel about it because even though I always, you know, been called ugly and, you know, all this stuff, man. Yeah, it's it's how it happens to me and stuff like that. And I ended up hurting myself because that's how I feel. And also, right after I, I, I got out of school, my mom always yells at me for no reason because I got suspended. And, you know, he hits, you know, she hits me, you know. I mean, during it was during eighth grade. You know, my mom hits me twice because I know that something bad is going to happen. I did not really stump him that. I, I did not really stump him. Because I was pretending to be. Because I thought like. You know. I thought they were like fake fighting or something. Like I. I didn't know what was going to happen sooner or later. I just thought about it. But my mom always yells at me for no reason. I tried to explain it. I tried to explain it to her. But she wouldn't do that. Because she told me to shut up. And punched me right in the jaw. And in the jaw every single time. And that's not a way you would do that. From your own child. And that just like traumatized me. For. Whatever I. Tried to be. <coughs> sorry. 
whenever I try to be a good student and, you know, I just always be a bad student every single time. And throughout the um, eighth through, well, yeah, throughout the fifth or fourth, throughout the tenth grade. And, yeah, it's, it's how it is, man. It's, it's how it is because, um, it's, it's always like that when some teachers, you know, protect one of those bullies or trolls because you say, I'm sure their parents are like, are, like, are you serious? I, I forgot what they said. Like, I'm sure... It's just a misunderstanding because the guy who bully, you know, he just playing around and stuff. I'm like, are you serious? You call this like playing around? Why well, get jumped at? You know, attack from the behind, and then get thrown to the locker room? You call that playing around? Like, that's just that's just wrong. Like, just like just like in TikTok. They always want to protect bullies and trolls and all all the other negative people because they feel like they want to expose them or, you know, try to fight back against the bullies and trolls. And that's the only problem about it that's been going on in TikTok, especially when it comes to that school and uh, any other jobs that's been going on. It's a messed up world that we live in, you know. It's a very messed up world that we live in this um part. And I got nobody else to protect me. And I'm all by myself because I feel like I'm I'm being a weak person. And you know, and that's how the whole, you know, school shooting is happening because of the bullies and the of the bullies. And that's the only reason that, you know, because Telling a teacher or securities, it's not going to work. It was never going to work. Because you know that they're going to continue to bully at you. So, telling a teacher or securities, it's never going to work. The only thing you have to do is just try to defend yourself. You know, do like a self-defense and stuff. You know, knock him out and something like he did because, um... Because, um, it's just, you know, it's how it is, you know. It's just, it's going to think that you, like, you're still a weak person on the school, or you like, being so useless, it's because, you know, you can't even fight back. And that's the only, that's the only problem that's been going on in this school, is because... Of those goddamn bullies. They can't take, take take care of their own responsibilities. That's been going on. And you know. It's how it is man. It's it's really how it is. But um. But yeah man. That's the only. That's the only situation going on. And. It just. It just happens sometimes. I just don't know why but. Yeah, but I've been I've been like suspended for a lot of times and um I just wish I could start over again and just like try to fight back against those bullies because if I if I would have did that without any help from the teachers and the or the securities that way I can just try my best to like you know just beat up bullies. And that's how it is. But then I will still get suspended. And then my mom always yell at me instantly because, you know, I fight against the bullies. I, you, like, see, like, my dad, the only one that taught me how to fight. And that's how it is, man. That's definitely how it is. But, um... But yeah, man, uh, let me know, comment down below, man. If this ever happens to you at school where you got bullied, let me know, man. Uh, put out some stories because I know there's a lot of a lot of people who has been bullied or trolls. 
anybody that happened before because it's probably like you're part of victims that you was trying to like I don't know like kill the bullies of course <laughs> I mean it never happened but, like damn he should like he or she should not bully bully at this poor man or woman in the first place and that's the only problem that's been going on, man. It's a very sad world that we live in. And. Yeah, man. But, um. But, yeah, so. That, that was good. That was actually fantastic. I, I like it so far. I ain't gonna lie. But, um. Yeah, so let me know. Comment down below what y'all think about this, man. And, um. I mean, could it be a sequel for the Grey was the day or no? Cause I think it's only like four minutes in there. I I think so, but maybe next time. But yeah, so comment down below what y'all think about this, and I'll see y'all in the next rest video.